Dia. This is so bad because first of all, it's like 10.30 in the morning. So I should be awake right now, right? No, I'm so tired. Okay, so you ever set an alarm and intend fully to get up during that alarm and that just does not happen. I had every intention to get up at 7.30 this morning. Actually, my alarm went off and I turned it off and went right back to sleep. Like, I need to stop doing that. But anyway, so for this look, I am going to be flat ironing my hair first so that I can make the high ponytail look really cute um, and really flat. So I'm not gonna like super flat iron my hair like perfect, but I just need to knock the crinkles out, if you know what I mean. So let me do that. Really though, it's most important to do that on the sides and towards the top. So I'm not necessarily gonna do like my whole middle. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges down too so I can kind of have direction of how I want my ponytail to look. I don't like to use a lot of gel for this look in particular because when you use a lot of gel, that's the like, the sleek ponytail look. This isn't a sleek ponytail, okay? This is not a sleek ponytail look for those of you who are thinking, no. It's like a messy, quick, oh, I threw my hair in a high ponytail, but it's cute type look. So, I ain't nothing sleek about it except for my edges. So, uh, let's go ahead and hook those up. My edges are relaxed, by the way. I don't know if this is your first time watching me via video. My edges are relaxed, which is why these lay down so easily. There ain't no way it would lay down and stay down if my edges were natural. It would lay down probably for like two seconds. Yeah, all right. And then something I like to do is just leave these, I don't know what you call these, whatever this is right here, I like to leave that out because that's just a cute look. It just adds, it makes the look look cuter to me, honestly, like, to be honest. <laughs> it looks cute like that. So what I'm gonna do now is, this isn't the ponytail, I just need to wrap my edges real fast. All right, so I took my ponytail down and first thing you wanna do is part your hair in half and separate this part and put this back up. So you're gonna do a part down here, part it again. So here's the track. Now my tracks are already cut. Um, you're gonna have to cut your tracks, sorry. Like, you're just gonna have to. That's why I would suggest like you don't have to use like, unless you use old hair or use like cheap beauty supply store hair that you don't mind cutting, but don't use super good hair. All right, so then just take your track and put it on top of that. And you just want to bobby pin your track horizontally, um, not up and down, horizontal, so that it stays. Like this. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, so we got a track in here. Then, we're gonna repeat the same thing, just a little further up, but make sure you leave your sides out so that you can cover up the track. You really just want it in the middle of your hair. You're not gonna see the tracks from the inside of your hair. It's like bobby pinning them on the inside like that, okay? And so when you're done, it should look a little something like this, and you just wanna take your hair from the back and gather it up into a ponytail, like, Show. Make sure no bobby pins are sticking out. And then we just want to throw our hair into a ponytail. Make sure you don't tug too hard because you don't want to rip the thing out of you know where you bobby pinned it at, but Okay, so what we're gonna do is tug it down in the back as well. Give it a little tug tug. Give it a little uh, tug tug like this. Just so it don't look so like neat, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not what we're going for. This is not the neat ponytail. This is the messy, 
I just threw my hair up because I don't feel like doing it ponytail, but I still want to look cute ponytail. And then you have a cute high ponytail. Wee! <laughs> and you should not be able to see any tracks. You do not see tracks back here. You do not see no tracks. And you got a ponytail. And again, you can make it thicker enough. If you want to take it a step further, you can give it a little twist, twist, and make it into a cute tall bun. And got yourself a cute little messy bun. Like this. And it looks natural. You can do one of these buns. You can do any kind of bun you want. I just, I used to stay with one of these buns. These were like my go-tos. Get my right hand, get my go-to thingy. And then just bobby pin it down. There we go. And then you can manipulate it, transform it. You know what I'm saying? Like do it however you want. This is just my personal preference because it just looks more natural, real, <coughs> realistic like this. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. That would be great. And that's it. <laughs> Adios, till next time. I run in the dugout, looking for a way out. You know, just taking it slow.